Hey guys, the Eggman here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Last time we found some more postals around the Lake Hylia area, and this time we are pretty much going to start out doing the same thing, because there's one postal that I actually forgot about last time that we're going to head over and get now. Um, but one thing uh, I want to mention about this episode, or about the first six minutes of this episode, is that it is being post narrated because um, for some reason I don't know if it's gonna show in the video I had a glitch with my computer during this I ended up getting the blue screen of death um, it was really strange I don't know what happened uh, but it was as I was recording and everything just kinda stopped so I was able to recover this video uh, project right here, but the audio file could not be recovered. So I think this po, you see it disappeared right there. It's because um, it was it just turned into day, and you know postals can only be found at nighttime. So I it just turned into day just as I got there. So. Uh, some BS luck that we got right there um, but there are a few more things that we can do around here um, even while it's not nighttime and postal hunting um, so I think we're going to head into the spirit cave here if I remember correctly uh, yes we are so uh, yeah I'm just saying now <coughs> oh man excuse me how oh, that cough came out of nowhere um, but I'm just saying now that, um, yeah, my commentary might be, might be kind of off in this video because, you know, I haven't really post commentated since, uh, my Phantom Hourglass Let's Play, and doing that was awful. I, I did not like that LP very much at all, and it, just because of the post commentary, because it, it's just... It's not nearly as fun as the live commentary is. Um, but anyways, this one episode is not going to kill me. It's not bad doing just one. But you uh, saw there were those platforms that we climbed on on the right of the spirit cave. And we claw shot to a vine and it brings us into this uh, back cave right here. You can get a blue rupee. And in this chest, what do we got in here? We got some bombs. And over here, use your lantern, you idiot. I'm talking to uh, past me, by the way, if you guys are wondering. Uh, but activating those two lanterns, uh, we get this other chest activated. And inside is a piece of heart. Very nice. Um, so two more until we can uh, build a new heart container and all that nice stuff you know it's weird uh, recording now or like narrating now when I know what's gonna happen in the future uh, like all that stuff um, so it's really weird because usually I'm not supposed to know that um, but anyways we can sink down here with our iron boots can get a blue rupee because uh, we're still trying to save up that money for um, the repairing, or the, bring the Malomart to Castletown. So, still saving up for that. And all this stuff, I think I'm just trying to get some rupees in here. I think I'm trying to get it to 330 exactly, because 328 isn't a nice number. So, there we go, we got it up to 330. Um, uh, whatever it's called, of 10 can't think of the name for that whatever it is it's divisible by 10 I don't know if that's what I was trying to say but it's close enough so now kinda just standing on the bridge for a while there but we keep going and getting pretty close to the time when uh, I go back to narrating so we want to transform into a wolf because we got a mini game over here 
and we come right here and this guy I think his name's Plum if I remember correctly hello 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 I am Plum I'm really excited about the latest attraction down here at the lake wanna hear about it let's listen to the rules the attraction is all about popping balloons as you move toward the goal move towards the goals the balloons are worth different amounts of points watermelons one orange three and strawberry ten Oh, and if you break the same type of balloon twice in a row, you get double the points, but only up to ten times. If you hit the wall and fall off, then you get no points. That's right, zero points for you. Press B to start over from the beginning. You know you get something neat if you get over 10,000 points, right? Not that you ever will. Well, the game starts as soon as you, as you fly in the air. Yeah. Alright, and this is where my computer glitched out, so I will see you guys when uh, it's back to past me. So we'll howl in, howl in this, and I'll see you guys in past me form. All right, guys, we are back. Um, had some technical difficulties there. Um, ended up getting the blue screen of death on my computer. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I ended up losing the audio file that I just uh, had, so I guess I'm gonna have to go over it. Uh post uh, narrate that uh, or put some music over or something I'm not sure because that's going to be in the uh, earlier in the video for you guys uh, but now we're in this mini game and that that went really well um, I forgot that I have to use the uh, Wiimote to steer not the <coughs> uh, control stick on the nunchuck <coughs> um, but what does this guy have to say that was so lame. So, want to go again? Yeah. <coughs> Alright. Let's try this again. Alright. So. Man. Uh, so, we can collect these uh, watermelons right here. Or, no, these are oranges, sorry. Um, and we can get a combo going. Um, and we'll just start collecting these watermelons too. Um, but we, what we really want to start collecting are the uh, strawberries. Since they're the smallest ones, the hardest ones to get, and we get ten for getting them. And then you don't want to get any other fruits because um, uh, you get a combo going. Uh, so twenty, forty. Now we get this one, and it's eighty. So uh, you want to keep up the combo. Uh, by getting these water or strawberries and y you just want to collect those and nothing else because you're gonna start to build up a huge combo and you're gonna be getting uh, tons of points for each uh, time you collect one of these so we got over a thousand points for that one over f and now we have over 10,000 look at that so uh, we restart our combo there whatever it doesn't matter uh, we just wanted to get over 10,000 so now um, you can just be really careful flying through here uh, because uh, all you have to do now is just not get hit and you'll uh, finish off the uh, finish this mini game and get the reward for completing it so continue on like this you can go for higher scores if you want just collecting these strawberries um, so we're just going to go collect this final one and finish it off. What? No way. However many points. You got more than 10,000 10, points? Wow. Here, take this. But don't think I'm giving this because I like you or anything. And we get another piece of heart. One more for a full heart container. Very nice. Um, no, I don't need to go again, actually. I'm all good. I don't want to play your mini game anymore. Um, but now there is another mini game we can play. Uh, this one I didn't want to play it before because uh, we could have started playing it a while ago. God damn it. Uh, but 
we have to warp back, or you have to travel all the way back up here. You can't uh, just automatically restart. You have to warp back here. So, or you have to walk back here if you don't have the uh, warp function yet by getting the master sword. Um, so that's why I didn't want to do it uh, previously. But now that we are here, we can we can do it since we are able to warp. So we're going to do this right now. Hey, welcome. Thanks to you, we're back in business. Well, we can't offer much, but just make yourself at home. And of course, if you want a boat to ride, just let me know. I'd be happy to rent one to you. Let's talk to her. It's going to cost 20 rupees for each one. So, uh, make sure you have enough money. And you can steer with the uh, control stick on the nunchuck. And what we're trying to do is blow up all these uh, balloons that they have around here. Uh, if you run to the wall, you lose one point, but we don't have any points yet, so we have nothing to lose. Uh, so uh, just be careful for that. And one point for the yellow ones. And uh, it's two points for the red ones, I think. And there's a maximum of 30 points. Uh, if we get 25 points, we uh, we can get uh, a reward for doing this. Um, so just continue on like this. Uh, back will you'll slow down a little bit, so if you need to, uh, it can be pretty helpful to slow down. Uh, okay, let's get these ones. Get this guy right there. And there we are, up to seven points now. Uh, so this mini game can be pretty hard. It's a lot harder than the previous one that we played uh, with the strawberries and all that stuff. Uh, this one, I think, is a lot harder. So make sure you go to the right here. And steering is not super crucial in this. Uh, for the most part, it'll go by itself uh, but there is some stuff that uh, you need to steer out of the way for uh, but we're doing pretty good right now we've gotten hundred percent so far uh, okay didn't run into the wall right there <coughs> uh, and we're up to 15 points now halfway through <coughs> but I, I know I'm gonna mess up some part of this. It, it's just bound to happen. Like this, right here. Uh, two more points gone. Okay, that's three points. Oh, I actually hit it. Okay. Gotta go this way. Gotta make sure. Okay, no. We might not get it this time, actually. I, maybe if we don't mess up anything uh, again, I think maybe then we can get it, but if we do, then I think we're kind of screwed. Can we get this one over there? No, it's going to go out in the water. No! Alright, I'm not... Okay, no, we still we still can do this. Twenty-six points. It's not perfect, it's not thirty, but it's more than twenty-five, more than enough to get the reward that we came here for. I can't believe I got that on my first try. I didn't even need to wait this long. I could have just done it and I wouldn't even have had to warp back. Um <coughs> But we come over this way. Follow this Sora all the way down to the end. Thanks for your patronage. On this trip down river, you scored 26 points, destroying targets. Congratulations, as the first customer to score at least 25 points, you receive this prize. And we get the giant bomb bag. It can hold twice as many bombs as ordinary bomb bags. Uh, depends on the kind of bomb. Uh, so now, it... Uh, all three of our bomb bags, the uh, 
size of size of them of and the number of bombs they can hold is doubled. <coughs> so this isn't the right screen that we want to go to. We want to go to this one. Now we can hold 60 regular bombs. I think 30 water bombs and there is a different type of bomb that we are able to get now. Um, if we go over to Barnes, uh, Barnes's bomb shop, uh, but we haven't got it just yet. Um, but now, what do we want to do? I feel like we're just going to wait for night time right now. But let me just uh, make sure I'll make my way over to here. Uh, but yes, I, th I think we're just going to be waiting for night now. It looks like it's about to change into night, but I'll meet you guys uh, once it is indeed nighttime. All right, guys, we are back, and it is now nighttime. So let's come over here and get this postal, which we were screwed out of before, disappeared right when we got here. Um, and let's finish him off. And there we go. Uh, finally got this guy. And let's check how many postals do we have now. We have 19. And Giovanni, the one who we're collecting the postals for, told us to come back and see him when we have 20 postals. So we are almost at that point, so we will do that soon. Um, but they, there are actually a few postals that we can get around this area over here. So we're going to go grab those right now. Uh, Let's just head this way, and we want to uh, head up to the chicken uh, flight by fowl place. Uh, and to do that, we're going to use this cannon over here. Uh, so transform back into a human, and let's head over here. Yes, we're back. Uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. And 10 rupees, we're down to exactly 300 rupees. And yeah, and we're still trying to collect some more money. Our wallet can hold 600 rupees. So we're going to try and fill it up as best we can because we still do need quite a few rupees. But we can uh, use the cannon, head up to... Falby's place over here. I believe that's his name. And let's head inside and play some Flight by Fowl. Uh, we're actually uh, going to get some pose this way. So, uh, yes, let's play this. And grab a chicken or a cuckoo <sighs> I hate grabbing these guys because you have to sneak up and I don't like walking slow in games alright so what you want to do right when you get him go around in a circle and we can see there's a ledge over here uh, I hope we make it to the ledge uh, yeah we're gonna make it here and let go and we got a postal up here so ow. let's attack him and attack him again and finish him off alright very nice let's see what can we dig up here oh it's a dig cavern All right, let's see what we got in here. Uh, we're gonna transform into human because fighting in human form is a lot easier. Um, now we got some some clam guys that I can't even see. Alright, take those guys out and let's let's swim back up to the surface. Alright. Nice, we got the chest to appear. 
couldn't barely even see what we were doing there. Um, but now we can head up here, see if there's, ooh, a whole bunch of arrows, nice. Green rupee, is there anything else that we can get? I don't know, whatever. But in this chest, we've got a orange rupee worth 100 rupees. So that is very nice. It's always awesome getting those rupees. <coughs> and now we are going to head back in here and go back up to the surface. And we want to head to the Isle of Riches now. Uh, I believe that's what it's called. It's the uh, area down there with the all the treasure chests that they have there and all that stuff. And you know what? I think we might have actually missed a treasure chest before. But actually, I don't think we might not be able to reach it right now. I don't think we have enough height to get there. Uh, let's do this again. Man, these past episodes have been taking a while to record. It's There's been so many times that I have to cut stuff out because... Uh, like, searching for the stuff around here, it's... It's not the easiest. It takes a while sometimes. Um like cuz i'm not really sure uh where everything is i don't remember uh all of hyrule uh exactly as it is so it's kind of hard uh i have to take some time and you know look at my walkthrough and stuff uh but you know it's going pretty well but there is a lot of cutting out that i'm having to do in these episodes uh so yeah get ourselves a little bit lower and very nice alright go away cuckoo I don't need you uh, and we could have stopped this uh, up here before with the fan but you know it's okay that we didn't make it a bit of more of a challenge for us to get I think I skipped a chest up there but whatever uh, but now let's transform into a wolf and let's take on this puzzle. Okay. And make sure you don't fall off or else you're going to have to come all the way up here again. And there we go. There's another puzzle. Um so now we want to warp uh to Castletown up here I believe um, <clears throat> yeah let's go to Castletown um, okay and from Castletown we are going to head down south um, so we want to uh, I believe we want to head over into Castletown and we want to go check on that Goron that we gave the hot spring water to. Um, so, uh, go this way. And, man, this episode is going on longer than I thought it would. Probably have to end it off pretty soon. But not quite yet. Um,. But right, continue on this way, and uh, I got the uh, new Luigi's Mansion. Uh, I got it for my birthday, and I've been playing that uh, quite a bit. It's a really fun game, actually. It's really good. I at first I thought it was weird with the uh, one, 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 two. Like, uh, it seems weird that they are doing it that way, but it, it does work out pretty good. But <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> excuse me. No, somebody's gonna see me. It's just kind of annoying how Nintendo is doing that, it seems like, for all of their games lately. Like, the previous two Paper Mario games have been in the 1 1, 1 2, 1 3 stages, you know, um, and the Luigi's Mansion. Like, it. Some of these games, I just preferred if they didn't do that. Hey, look, brother, the way is now clear, just as I promised. I do not know where you headed, but be careful. Okay, I will. Um, but yeah, I, it just seems weird that Nintendo's doing that for 
everything that they're doing lately. Um, but anyways, let's go this way. And I actually <clears throat> uh, did not want to go this way. I wanted to go a different way, but we're kind of looping around here. As there no no horse grass around here. No, I'll meet you guys where we want to be. All right, so we're on this path now that's between the uh, Great Hylian Bridge and uh, uh, one of the Hyrule Fields. There's so many of them, I can't remember all their names. Um, but we got a bomb rock right here that I thought I'd blow up. No, it's turning into daytime. No, don't do that. That is not acceptable. Uh, but we got some uh, yellow rupees right here, 20 rupees, not too bad. Um, but now we can see that Po-Soul up, po up there, but by the time that we get there, it's probably going to be daytime, so... <clears throat> I feel like we're going to have to do some waiting again after this, which really sucks. <clears throat> but, let's go back. And yes, now it just turned into daytime. That's just great. Uh, where's my claw shot? There it is. Um, so we need our claw shot now. We can hook onto this target right here. And... Blow up these bomb rocks and claw shot over here. And same with this spot right here. Okay, I'm too far away apparently. Uh, so let's get a little bit closer and do this again. Okay. Um, so there is a few things that we can do uh, here in the daytime. So uh, I'm just cutting down all this grass here. And let's transform into a wolf. And we go into Sench View and we can dig down here into another dig cavern. And down here, there are a whole bunch of bubbles here. Uh, there are new enemies, there's uh, fire bubbles, regular bubbles, and ice bubbles. Um, so they're pretty much just skulls, uh, and the fire ones and ice ones are either on fire or um, on ice. I don't know how you uh, say that, they're, they're icy. Um, but you can see them right up here. Uh, it's pretty clear that they're icy. Uh, there's one more left. My sound just died. Okay, okay lock onto him. Where is he? Come down here. Come get me. Come on. Okay, let's go up here. Because this guy's being a little pussy. Come on. Why am I fighting in wolf form? Just realize this. Okay, let's go into a human. Now you want to come fight me. Alright, uh, get back over here. There we go. And it's going to make a treasure chest appear over here. And inside. Um, uh, we have got an orange rupee worth a hundred rupees. Very nice. And with that, we are, uh, we've almost filled up our wallet completely. We have just, uh, 19 more rupees until it's all filled up. So that is very nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and now, when we come out here, uh... What we can do to fill it up is grab this chest and grab a purple rupee. Oh, but it won't fit in our wallet. Never mind. Uh, so I guess I guess I'll meet you guys back here when it's nighttime because we have to wait for this postal right now. So I will see you guys then. Actually, you know what, guys? I changed my mind. I don't want to just sit around here uh, and wait around. So. Um, we're going to head down here, actually. 
we're going to warp. And we want to head to Castletown quickly. Because remember what uh, Giovanni said about returning to him when he has... Um, when we have 20 postals. So we want to go do that right now. Um, and this episode is going on pretty long. I forgot that I need to end it off. Uh, well, there's a couple things I want to do. Actually, actually, you know what? We're just going to end it off right here. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time when we go get some more postals, go visit Giovanni, and maybe see if we can get the Malamart back in town. Or back into, or into Castletown, not back into here because it's never been here before. But anyways, thank you very much for watching guys. Sorry for the technical difficulties we had earlier in the episode. Uh, hopefully it all turns out good, but I will see you guys in the next episode.